Hi everyone, I'm here in my uh, studio. I have a new uh, little home artist kiln from Paragon, and I'm gonna I'm gonna try my horsehair technique here and see how see how it turns out. I'm lifting the pieces out of the kiln with some uh, tongs. The kiln came, got up to about 1,200 degrees. Now I'm going to apply the hair. Seems to be working just fine. So this is going to allow me to do these pieces, um, you know, in, in any weather. Um, normally I do them outside, and I don't like it to be any, uh, any cooler than about 60 degrees, otherwise I have a lot of, a lot of cracking occurs. So you just take the hair, and lay it on the pot. Um, if you hold it, you can uh, hold it with two hands, or sometimes I use a, um, a pair of pliers. You can help, and here's how. These are some of the colored pots that I was I'm testing these colors to see see if I like how they look. Typically, you see these um, these pots typically just with white white clay. These colors will, will pop back to their normal color when the pot cools. They're sort of a little dull right now. Got quite a few pieces in there, so we'll see how long they um, see how long they stay hot enough to get the hair on. I might have to I might have to turn the kiln on again. Looks like I might have to turn the kiln back on and heat it back up a little bit. Yeah. Hair. The pot is about probably about a thousand degrees, maybe a little hotter. And I'm just going to take the hair and drape it on. And you see how it fumes into the into the pot and burns, burns right on. These pots are colored with um, terrace gelata. I added some mason stains to the terrace to get the color. Um, you really don't have much time with the hair. You'll see pretty soon it will stop it will stop accepting the hair it will stop burning so you, ha you have to work pretty fast yeah, that's about it it's not going to take any more so i'll see if i can get um one more out might be able to do do one more Of course, the kiln is turned off and it's unplugged because it's electric. You don't ever want to go in there with the plug in or the electricity on with any kind of metal or anything like that. It could be uh, fatal. <laughs> so.
And you'll see it pretty soon. The pot will cool off pretty fast and it won't, uh, won't accept the hair anymore. So that's it. Okay, well, I decided against doing any more because it's, uh, <laughs> it's actually pretty smoky down here. So time to turn on the exhaust fan. Um, so this is what I ended up with. I'm really happy with these results. Um, you know, like I normally do this outside in a propane-fired raku kiln, a garbage can type kiln. But um, this little uh, home artist from Paragon here seems to uh, really be a great little, uh, great little kiln. I'll uh, show you the inside here. I still have a few few pots inside. It's still warm in there, but um, I'm going to do those another day after the smoke clears out from down here. Um, like I said, um, it's an electric kiln. It can be used inside or outside. I think it goes on a 20 amp fuse, a regular household outlet, um, you know, a three prong outlet. Um, of course, safety wise, shut the kiln off and unplug it before you go to reach in there. Common sense. Um, what else? I guess that's about it. So um, here's some, some other pieces I'm working on using the different colored terra sigillata. Um, some more things down here. I'm, these are actually uh, some consignments. So, that's what I've been up to lately. So anyway, this seems to be a great, a great little kiln. Of course, it's um, really just low fire. I think it goes up to 1800 degrees Fahrenheit and that's it. So, but it's perfect for a raku or for my purposes here for the horsehair. All right, well, have any questions, just, uh, you know, post them up there and I'll do my best to answer. Thanks for stopping by.